Attack on Titan movie is the biggest crime in anime history. For example, you remember Captain Levi, humanity's strongest soldier? The movie decided to change things up and remove him. He was replaced with a completely different character called Captain Shikishima. I thought that removing Levi was bad enough, but the show also decided to change Armin's hair color to black. Even worse, turn Mikasa into a friendly and outgoing girl. Speaking of Mikasa, the very last change I'm going to talk about is so horrible, you're gonna throw your phone at the wall and cry yourself to sleep. But let's talk about Levi's replacement in the movie. In addition to the horrible idea of removing Levi, the movie also made his replacement even worse. They decided to give him the ability to turn into a titan. That literally doesn't make any sense because Levi's whole character is that he hates titans with a passion. In the anime, Omnidirectional gear was created 70 years before the wall was broken down. In the movie, the gear was only invented two years after the wall was broken down. But let's move on real quick. The movie decided to make Hanji Zoe the leader of the scout regiment. The thing is, they changed her name to Hans. This name change has got to be one of the dumbest things in the world. In the anime, Hans is also the name of the soldier who saved Eren and also left Eren's mom to die. Talk about confusing. Wait! No! But I can't talk about Commander Hanji without talking about some more tech. One change that didn't really make sense in the movie was their addition of vehicles. Yeah, that's right. The director of the movie added in cars, biplanes, and airships. I just have to point out that the added noise from all these vehicles definitely attracted even more Titans. 99% of the people who watched the movie didn't notice this next change. In the anime, Attack on Titan takes place in the Shiganshina district. The fictional town of Shiganshina is inspired by the real-life German town called Nordlingen. In the movie, however, everything takes place in post-apocalyptic Japan. I'm gonna be honest, this change actually kind of makes sense. You see, the producers of the Attack on Titan movie were targeting a Japanese audience. Still, the change sucks because the entire vibe of the movie goes from homey German villages to steampunk-looking factories. If you're a real fan of the anime, You'll know that the colossal titan was 196 feet tall. I guess the producers of the movie didn't think that was tall enough because they doubled the height of the colossal titan to 394 feet. I get that it's called a colossal titan, but dang, they went overboard. Speaking of titans, this next change is maybe one of the biggest plot holes in the movie. I was watching the movie when I noticed something weird. When Eren first turns into the attack titan, he immediately starts attacking regular titans. Once he kills a couple of them, the rest of the titans begin to retreat. This is a huge plot hole because according to the anime, titans don't have self-awareness or self-preservation instincts. Let that sink in. Titans aren't motivated by hunger as such. They're simply in it for the kill. Anyways, when Eren suddenly began to attack other titans in his titan form, the scout regiment was confused. In the anime, they just assumed it was an abnormal titan. Just chalk it up as another abnormal. But in the movie, everybody was somehow able to recognize kick. that Eren was the Punch. Titan because kick. of his unique kick. fighting style. Punch. That's a stretch kick. if I've ever heard one. <sighs> okay, so you know how I mentioned that they renamed Hanji to Hans? Well, it turns out that the movie decided to make it even more confusing and change Hans's name to Zauda. Here's a crazy change that's guaranteed to shock you. After Eren successfully blocked an immense hole in the wall, he fell unconscious and the attack titan collapsed. Armin cuts him out, but as he pulls Eren out, he gets a shocking revelation. You're not subscribed to the channel? Hit that subscribe button right now, or I'm gonna turn into a titan and eat your mom. Okay, but seriously, when they finally managed to pull Eren out of the titan carcass, something stuck out to me, so I had to rewind. In the anime, there are visible marks under Eren's eyes showing where he was connected to the titan. But in the movie, they completely missed this little detail. The movie made things even worse by switching up the timeline. As I was watching the movie, something kept bugging me, so I went back to the anime to see what I was missing. I realized that in the anime, it only took Eren and his friends five years to join the scout regiment. But in the movie, they changed that to two years. I was wondering why they made this random change, so I did a bit more research. It turns out that in the Attack on Titan movie, the Scout Regiment was created two years after the Colossal Titan's attack. This is completely different from the anime that says the Scout Regiment has been around for over a hundred years. I guess the producers were fine with wiping out a century's worth of Scout history, huh? 
What should we do about the military history? No time for that. Focus on the fights over the world building. You remember how I said there were a couple other changes to Levi? Well, this tiny detail was really annoying, so I just had to include it. In the anime, Levi is known as humanity's strongest soldier because he has the highest Titan kill count. In the movie, they decide to change that phrase to humanity's strongest man. Guys, there is a big difference between strongest soldier and strongest man. Okay, time for three horrible changes the movie made to the Titans. In the movie, Titans eat multiple people at the same time. But there's not a single scene in the anime where this happens. Here's three examples of people being eaten in the anime, and you can see that they're only being eaten one at a time. When the colossal Titan first breaks a hole in the wall, it takes him several kicks to do it. But it only took the Titan one precise kick in the anime. Okay, the last two sucked, but this one has got to be the worst. We all know how titans work, right? Subjects of Ymir get injected with titan spinal fluid. This is kind of the whole premise of the entire anime. Well, the movie decided to completely disregard this and introduce a baby titan. Titans don't even have a reproductive system, so I don't know how this is supposed to work. I think we can all agree that baby titans aren't that cute. But baby Aaron, on the other hand, adorable. You know that in the anime, Aaron's parents died when he was 10 years old. They completely changed this in the movie. It turns out that the military police killed both of Aaron's parents when he was only five or six years old. They did this to get rid of dangerous research that his dad had. But enough about Aaron, let's focus on Mikasa for a bit. We all know how Mikasa first got her signature red scarf. Aaron killed a couple kidnappers and then gave it to her. In the movie, she only gets it the day the outer wall falls a couple years later. The movie really had to remove one of the best scenes in the anime, didn't they? After joining the scout regiment in the movie, Mikasa kills 10 titans in only half a year. Because of this, many of her fellow soldiers begin to call her the goddess. If you're a true fan, you'll remember that the goddess was actually the nickname for Historia Reese in the anime, not Mikasa. Reiner and a couple other guys literally thought she was perfect, which is how the nickname came around. She's an angel. A goddess. One day my wife. We all know that Historia and Mikasa were both into Eren. I was shocked to find out that in the movie, Eren and Mikasa are not adopted siblings. They're actually dating. No way! In the movie, Mikasa is Eren's neighbor or something, and they start dating. I'm not gonna lie, this is something that pretty much every AOT fan wanted to see. <laughs> this is the craziest change in the entire oh. movie. After Eren and Mikasa become a happy couple, the movie ruins it all by making a titan eat Mikasa. Eren joined the scout regiment years later to avenge her, but was shocked by what he found out. Mikasa had actually been saved from that titan by Captain Levi. What's even more horrible is that in the movie, Levi has a huge crush on Mikasa and actually dates her for several years, which is completely illegal because his character is supposed to be 33 years old and Mikasa is 15 years old. Yeah, don't watch the movie.